All right, and we are live. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Check, check, mic check, fellas. I'm going to wait for you guys to enter the room. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to send the link directly to your page so you guys can actually see this. So, uh, just give me a second here, and we will. Live. I'm going to share this link. No, I don't want that to happen. Let me see if I can actually find my streaming link on here. And we will get started. We are going to get this up and running. And we will test, test, go live. I'm going to share this link. to get this <coughs> excuse me we are going to get this going here I'm just going to wait for you guys to enter in let's see Oh, there's my link again. All right, guys, you guys should be entering in here in a few moments. I am sending the link. <coughs> got two guys up in here <clears throat> can't see any names so if you guys just want to give a quick shout out we'll go ahead and um, get started here in a few seconds you guys want to give a little quick shout out and we will get started I got two guys in here, so fellas, we'll wait for a few more people to come in. I know this is a video, but I want to get some questions in. I don't want to feel like I'm talking to a wall. Let me see here. What is... I know a lot of you guys wanted to see Star Wars tonight, so uh, Let's see, fellas, who's in here? Is that you, Eric? Any of you other guys? Let me check Facebook really quick. I want to see which one of you guys actually joined.
testing one two <coughs> hope you guys are all having a great night and we will get through with this so I got two guys in here right now Today's going to be a great day, fellas. I'm going to cover some uh, wireless routers. I'm going to cover some wireless routers with the uh, cable modems. Um, I know a lot of you guys have had issues with Gears of War. Uh, what's going on? I'm paying for 100 megabytes down every month or 200 down, and I'm only getting 100. <coughs> You're supposed to get 20 down or 20 upload, and you're only getting 10 or 5. So we're going to talk about a few of those issues. And uh, the main thing is first is you got to have, of course, a um, decent connection, which we all know. Usually those run about 70 bucks a month. But I think the biggest mis misconception with a lot of people is that you think you need to have really, really fast Internet, and that's going to fix all your problems. But some of you guys are already experiencing that ain't the case. So with that being said, uh, hold on here. So with that being said, we're going to get into this, and we're going to talk about why is my internet connection slow. Excuse me. Got two in here so far. Uh, the chat should be working if you guys want to just say something. Maybe some of you guys don't have YouTube accounts. I don't know. Tag a couple of people here. I am okay, so I think I'm about ready. All right, guys, so the first thing you definitely want to have is a fast Internet connection. But what is going on with your Internet connection is that apparently somewhere between point A and point, we'll say Z, you have a bunch of pinches in the line. Um, typically, when you have your Internet access... Typically, when you have your Internet access... Um, <clears throat> it goes from the cable box, which is in your neighborhood, and then, of course, it goes to your uh, your house. And so, a few years ago, I had problems with Internet access myself, but just a little quick background about me. I've been Internet gaming for about, well, since the year 2000. I had a PC, a game mostly online, of course, with the uh, PC, playing... Um, Half-Life, Opposing Force, Half-Life, Counter-Strike. And in those particular games, you can actually see your ping. Um, your ping is pretty much your latency, what it takes for you to connect to another player or pretty much the actual server. Now, with playing Xbox, we really don't have that privilege because, well, you don't see it. The only thing you pretty much see is you either have an open NAT or a restricted NAT. And honestly, that doesn't get it. Um, Having a, a good latency back in the day, even if you had DSL or cable connecting to a T1 server, you had about maybe a 71 ping, okay? 
<coughs> so you had a 71 ping and that was your connection pretty much to the server um, we still have that but what you also have to figure out too is that your internet connection is not simply based upon your connection to the server but it's also based upon who you're connecting to and what country they're from so I'm gonna just pull up a quick picture right here so you guys can see it maybe this will kinda help explain a little bit of things alright so this is just your basic photo of internet bandwidth and I'm not sure if that photo is coming up here let me see you guys should be able to see it okay there we go alright so this is what your internet bandwidth looks like back in the day if you had DSL or dial up your pipeline to your internet access will look something like this now with all the new high definition features uh, remember now we're gaming in HD we've been gaming in HD ever since the Xbox 360 came out uh, all the newer high, higher quality content well we have cable and uh, files connections we have a lot of information going through these lines so what happened was they had to create DSL and cable and other faster connections to create a pipeline to stream all of that information so this is typically your, what your internet access should look like now some of us still have this type of internet whether you have uh, a router or whatnot um, we have high definition content well actually let me go back a little bit we now have high definition content 4k video streaming uh, Xbox one PS4 um, all that information which are, are coming through these lines almost as the use of a router um, a lot of routers are not capable of handling high definition content and I'm actually going to cover that here in just a moment so imagine you have a pinch in the line and it's creating a bottleneck so with that being said with the upgrade of the uh, all the video games for the for defi 4k definition Netflix uh, high definition gaming because fellas we are gaming in HD now um, you need a bigger pipeline now not only a bigger pipeline but you need to have a router that encompasses all that so I just want to give you guys a quick overview these are some of the older routers yes any router that you guys have will be able to help you play online however the first gaming inter uh, this is actually the router that I used to have this this one right here the M300 this one I got this back in 2010 it was a very decent router but if you notice let's look at the tech specs N300 megabytes 2.4 gigahertz <coughs> excuse me uh, 2.4 gigahertz that's pretty much what uh, you know we have going on back in 2010 but the first gaming router even though we could game playing Xbox or you know doing whatever um, I actually used to play Gears 2 with this router um, and I got rid of the Linksys increased my internet access up to about 2 megabytes up and I had about maybe 5 down at the time I had decent speeds well however if you notice with all the newer routers the, they are actually identified let me see if I can go back here no I won't get there yet now let's go back on more alright all these newer routers I believe the first gaming router came out about 20, 2012 or so I think that's when the first actual official uh, uh, gaming router came out and I believe it was this one right here the AC1600 so the AC1600 actually allowed you to stream and play uh, HD movies and also play high definition uh, content with um, and it also has a 5 gigahertz uh, frequency so with that being said let's actually take a look at some internet connections right now so I can give you guys a better overview about what I'm uh, talking about let's see here this is actually now my my latest uh, internet access right now I'm actually using <coughs> not this particular model but I'm actually using the AC 1700 which is the 1750 and as you can see here this one is actually made for 
This one's actually made for gaming. I think it actually says it right. Let's see, where is it? No, it's listed on here. It's made for gaming. A deal for homes, connections, dual core processor. And I know not a lot of you guys already have the Nighthawk system, but let's see here. Ethernet ports, Wi-Fi range, features. Sharing, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see here. Okay, well, this one actually says it's reliable for streaming your home computers, mobile devices, and makes your gaming more extreme and your HD streaming a lot smoother. So uh, this one was a step up from either the uh, the 1600 series, which was one of the first routers actually made for HD gaming. Now, they are called gaming routers, but that's what they're actually made for. So if you're using one of those older systems, <coughs> you're going to have a lot of problems and you're going to create a bottleneck. Now, on my home internet access, I actually have a couple of uh, frequencies, so we're going to actually take a look at those here. I have a, <coughs> if you're going wireless, I have a 2.4 gigahertz signal, and I also have a, <coughs> I also have here a 5 gigahertz signal. If, if you notice, the 5 gigahertz signal gives me up to 1,300 megabytes, right over here. It gives me up to uh, 1,300 megabytes, whereas the 2.4, if you're traveling inside of a, if you have a bigger house, you're not going to get those faster speeds. Now, the other thing that I was mentioning, I know a lot of you guys already watched my video on the Gears of War forum. This is actually what I was talking about. Um, this is actually my cable modem, which has a built-in Wi-Fi connection. And we're going to take a look at that here in just a second. Yeah, that's my specs on that one, but I haven't installed the new one yet, fellas, so um, we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's take a look at the status. And we're going to go down to, let's see, uh, LAN. There's my LAN link. see here glance <coughs> let's look at the mocha oh yeah we're good that WAN network all right so this is what I wanted to get to now some of you guys may have a cable modem but the newest thing is now uh, that you guys really need to pay attention to as far as gaming is this little value right here called channel bonding value Channel bonding value is essentially the amount of lanes that you have uh, streaming through your computer. Um, I know, I, I think Eric and maybe a few of you other guys, um, I think it was another guy that was mentioning in the forum. Let me see here. Some of you guys in the other forum have uh, maybe some of the Nighthawks or whatnot, and uh, some of the other cable modems can only stream up to 24 or maybe even 16 channels. Now, if you look at my wireless uh, modem that uh, Time Warner provided me, I actually have 16 downloadable channels, all right? And I have four upload. Some of the newer ones actually have 24 download or uh, 32 download or uh, eight upload. So this one I'm currently using is a little bit out of date. So what does this mean for me? Well, essentially, if you have more lanes or if you have more channels that allows you to download or upload more without having any type of interruptions it really has lag has really not so much to do about your download speed because once you're going fast enough you're going fast enough all right you don't need to go much faster all right what you do need to make sure you have is clear channels so even with this 16 channels in the newer newer box i just have uh, i purchased yesterday I'm going to have 32 channels as opposed to 16, so that's twice the amount. And I'm also going to have eight upload channels. Now, in addition to gaming, you also have to understand that your gaming is all more or less focused on your upload and not so much your download. And uh, the reason why I say that is this. Uh, a few years ago, I was playing a one-on-one -on -one match against one of my friends who was one of the top-of-the-line um, 
uh, Half Life players back then, and uh, you know, so it was it was surprising, but uh, I was beating him. I was I was beating him pretty bad, and he asked me to log in to a Skype. Back then, Skype was was pretty much in its beta stages. I was I was using DSL, and I think he had a um, a cable modem. So we were playing online. I was up by maybe one or two kills every time. Uh, I was not in the game chat or the uh, the Skype channel. But when he asked me to log in, I noticed my ping went up. Now ping is also your latency. So we were kind of about even. However, I noticed that my reaction time to kill him uh, or shoot at him would slow down every time I would go into the Skype. And so what you also so what that tells you guys. Well, what, I, what, I got, what I'm actually trying to say is every time you're online on Xbox or one of the other gaming systems and you're in those chats, it actually opens up another line of channel and that slows down your bandwidth. That slows down your internet connection. So if you're in a room with five other guys and uh, it opens up another channel because it's also considered VOIP, voice over uh, internet protocol. Uh, you really won't see it on Xbox. You probably won't see it uh, anywhere else. But I'm telling you from personal experience is that if you are using Skype or any of the other voice uh, communication channels while you're gaming, it will slow you down and you will have a slower connection when you're trying to play against other people. Now, the other thing you want to do is focus on this. I know a lot of you guys love doing speed tests and whatnot. But remember, your Internet provider, when you do your speed tests, is primarily based upon uh, the closest server to you. But you don't want to focus on that because remember, you're playing against other people from around the world and around the country. So I'm actually based here. So we're not going to do a speed test out of here. We're actually going to focus on New York and Washington. The reason why we want to focus on New York and Washington right now is because those are the furthest points away from me. And because I'm actually uploading right now at about 10 megabytes, my internet connection is going to stink. But I'm going to show you what the difference is from a local server versus something that's actually further away. Uh, Seattle and San Francisco will also give you pretty good upload and download streams because, of course, that's where Silicon Valley is. They, they have a lot of uh, high-end servers there, so you guys should always be able to connect to anybody in Seattle or San Francisco without reasonable problems. All right. So let's go ahead and do a speed test to New York, and we'll see that it will definitely drop because from point A to point B is a lot longer than actually trying to do a speed test from here to LA or maybe Seattle. All right, so we're at about 76 right now going to New York. If I was going to China or some other place, of course, you guys would probably think I would go down and have just a little bit. And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to send me a message. If you guys have any questions, concerns, you want me to kind of go back a little bit, maybe explain some things? All right, so as you see, my connection to New York is 70 down and 12 megabytes. And remember, again, I'm actually uploading right now. I'm actually live streaming. So uh, my live stream up rate right now is about 10. So this is drastically affecting uh, my download and internet speed. Okay? So the next thing I actually want to cover is, uh, remember, again, I said when you're on Xbox, when you're in your other channels talking to your friends, it's using your bandwidth. It's actually using the, this amount of information to, where is it? You have all this information going through here through one specific channel. Now, the next thing you can actually do to help increase your internet traffic is, one, I will call the cable man out. Have them check all the lines in the box and have them check the line that's going from the box to your house. Once it gets in your house, you do need to have a new higher-end uh, cable modem. And I'm going to show you guys here. Uh, this is actually the cable modem that I just bought. It is top-notch. I mean, I, I love the thing. We're going to look at it here on Amazon. It goes for $229. It's good. Definitely approved. Actually, no. I'm sorry. This is the right one. Ah, there we go. All right, here we go. So this is the cable modem you typically want to get. Now, 
Um, there was a gentleman I was talking to earlier, and he said that he had a, a specific type of cable modem, but this one here has a download speed of 1.4 gigabytes, and it actually has uh, 32... Eight, uh, there's 32 by 8 bonded channels and again if you notice uh, the internet connections that I've had these are 16 channels uh, the internet connections that I've had I've been getting about 220 over uh, 220 down and about 20 megs 23 megs up so I get about the highest I've actually seen it peak out at was about 234 so this is something you guys definitely want to have and if you notice again it says ideal for streaming HD video and gaming on multiple devices at the same time and this is something you definitely want to pay attention to you will not get this on your very basic router so if you're using a basic router or uh, cable modem they are not equipped to stream HD video on multiple devices you can but you're gonna get a lot of buffering which means download it you know wait time sitting there waiting for your you know your videos to come up um, if you're on YouTube and you're trying to stream a bunch of you know 4k videos you're definitely gonna have a bunch of problems Okay, so this is actually the latest router or cable modem that you do want to have if you're really into gaming. If you don't want to spend this amount of money, you can also go with the Eris. I think uh, I was talking to Eric, and he has a, let me see here, I think it was the Eris 6190. Yeah, we'll do the SB6190. Now, what's the difference between the Eris 6190 and the one that I just currently got? Well, the 6190... <coughs> is um, let's see here well it's about hundred and twenty dollars cheaper but if you notice it is not Wi-Fi capable and it only has a line in now if you want to get the fastest internet possible even just using Wi-Fi you always want to make sure the cable modem you're using has a Wi-Fi connection or what you can do is uh, chain the <coughs> you can hook up this particular modem or the one that I have to a Netgear router and get your wireless connection that way. So let's take a look again at some of the net Netgear configurations. I want to show you guys what mine looks like. I'll log back in. I've been sitting out, you know, for too long. And um, again, I hope you guys are getting something out of this. I see I only got two viewers right now. I think I have about maybe four, maybe six connections. Strictly just off of the uh, Netgear router. So we have this. We have the wireless internet. Let's see here. Patch devices. This is just some of the basic menu that you guys will have if you have a Netgear router. And let's see. Let's look at statistics. Also, too, you want to make sure that you have a gigabit router, a gigabit uh, connection. All right. So with this one here, it's a one giga, uh, gigabit uh, network uh, cable modem. It has one plug-in. But, again, if you look at the one that I have, we'll go, let me actually go back to it. You'll notice this one actually has, uh, it is also a modem. And if you look in the back, it has four ports in, and it's also a wireless modem. The other one here is not wireless, all right? So that's the biggest difference between the two. And I will tell you, running your connection directly off of this box is a lot faster because even hooking it up possibly to a Netgear router, you will experience a bottleneck, which means all your traffic is trying to come through. However, if your router cannot handle all of that traffic, you're going to run into some serious lag issues. Now, with that being said, I will tell you this. This is pretty much how lag works. Even if you have a decent connection, even if the server is good, if you have a bunch of people you're playing online with and they all have crappy connections, you can experience lag. What will happen is, think about it as your car is capable of doing 100 miles an hour, but yet you have other people around you all doing 40 miles an hour and they're all in front of you it's going to slow you down it's going to slow you down because it's slowing down the server because the server has to work extra harder to supply that extra internet uh, bandwidth to all the people that are running uh, really really slow so let's say back in the day 
when I used to play Half Life Counter Strike um, in Opposing Force, uh, the average ping or connection was about maybe 68, maybe 70. And let's say somebody jumped on the server uh, with a 200 or 300 connection, well, that would send the server up. The, the entire average of everybody else's connection up and the server up to about maybe 115, maybe 150. Just so you guys have an idea about how that works. So that's why you have a lot of individuals with who you play with overseas or I would say even Mexico because Mexico, they don't have an internet, a good internet connection down there. That's why the connections are really horrible because most of the, uplo uh, the internet in Mexico is usually about five down or maybe two up at the least. And remember, I was doing two upload playing Gears of War 2 and most of the time I would get hosts. But remember, that was Gears of War 2 on the Xbox 360 and now we have uh, stronger content coming through. So you got to have at least at least 10 megabytes up while you're gaming. And right now I'm actually streaming at 10 megabytes myself. So maybe if you guys used to play some, you know, you know, games and whatnot, you can use that as a uh, you know, margin, but so forth. That's pretty much how things work. All right. The next thing I want to cover is how can I actually fix my network connection in the house? What are some other things I can actually do? Well, again, the first thing that you definitely want to do is, uh, it's like going from point A to point Z. You, you, you check your internet connection. You can have the cable company come out and check it, test the line, and then you have to get a strong cable modem. And I would recommend either this Aris, uh, SB 6190 or I would recommend the Aris SBG 7580AC. Um, you want to make sure that uh, you have everything uh, properly managed to where you keep your uh, internet se uh, separate. So, for example, let's take a look at this gateway real quick. Uh, on my particular router, I have certain network, uh, Netflix and network devices on the 2.4 and I do all of my gaming if I'm going to game on my wireless connection at 5 gigahertz. Now, you have to keep in mind, too, that not all the Xbox 360s can read a 5 gigahertz signal because of the older network cards in them. I haven't tried my Xbox Ones yet, but they should be able to see the signal being at 5 gigahertz due to a different uh, LAN port. So, um, I see I got still two viewers right now. If anybody has any personal questions, I can go ahead and, uh, you know, regarding their issue, if... Uh, anybody has anything so we'll go ahead and entertain questions at this moment that way I can kind of catch up a little bit if there was anything else I needed to focus on uh, let's see here now don't forget your cable companies won't tell you that you need a new router uh, they'll tell you that you need this new box and oh, you know, what? let me add this. This is actually a purchase box So if you guys actually purchase one of these uh, You're not paying that ten dollars extra a month that time Warner, one of the other cable companies to charge you to rent the box So this is actually yours. So you're not paying that ten bucks a month ten times twelve is hundred and twenty So over two years that's two hundred and forty bucks You guys do the math But uh, this will be around for a while and uh, let me tell you guys, I originally had also this original router, and I used to stream Netflix at the same time. I had this connection, and even though I was trying to manage it before I upgraded to the uh, AC1750, I used to stream, wire, uh, stream Netflix on my other devices in the house at the same time. But guess what? I still have problems. So I upgraded, and now I can perfectly watch Netflix on all of my devices, maybe two or three devices at the same time and not have any problems because this self manages my internet connection while I am gaming. Let's go back to the basics here. Come on back in. Let's look at the internet. Well, guys, I see that uh, there's no questions right now, and I hope you found a little bit of this video a little helpful. I was hoping to get some questions so I can deal a little bit more with issues that, uh, you know, people are having. But um, 
Remember, if you're, if you're gaming wirelessly, try to keep it on the 5 gigahertz frequency so that way it goes further throughout the house. You definitely want to make sure you have that. You want to make sure you get rid of all your bottlenecks. Uh, bottlenecks are any points in your line that may be a pinch. It could be the wire itself, the cable line. It could be the one inside the box which you wouldn't have access to, so the cable company has to come out and fix that. Or it could be your cable modem itself, um, which, of course, I recommend one of these here because um, even the previous ones, in fact, you know, let's look at another Ares model. I want to actually show you guys that even, do, 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 do. yeah, let's take a look at this one. This one has a 2.4, uh, 5 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz frequency, and it's uh, only up to 300 megabits. It's not up to, okay, here we go. Again, this one's only 16 by 4. It's equivalent to the one I currently have, but some of the other boxes are about maybe 8 by 4. So these won't give you enough channels. So these are some quick tips that you guys can use as far as upgrading your router so you guys get a better connection. All right, so uh, send me a message. I hope you guys have had this has been a little bit informal for you guys or, or informational. Hope this helps with maybe Gears of War 2, or I'm sorry, not Gears of War 2, but Gears of War 4. But remember, uh, if you're already struggling with your internet access and gaming online, try to stay out of those uh, uh, groups. Try to keep it down to maybe just you and somebody else. Don't do five people. Turn off your, um, your Skype and everything else that's running because trust me, I know you really can't see it nowadays with all the, the bandwidth and internet access that's going on, but I'm telling you from personal experience that when I had DSL or a slower connection and I was using Skype and I joined those uh, extra rooms, it opened up another line of channel uh, you know, on my internet connection and it caused my reaction time to uh, be slower. Um, I wasn't lagging, but it took me longer to get my point off. You know, I wasn't clicking or actually shooting the guy uh, as it was supposed to, as I was before I was in the room. So um, those are just some little tips from personal experience, guys. And maybe next time I'll give a, another in-depth uh, review with some actual questions. Um, all right, so you guys, uh, peace out. You guys have a great day. Have a good night, and I uh, will catch you guys later.